When machining complex part geometries, surface and curve projection strategies can be utilized to create toolpath that more closely matches the part geometry to be machined, increasing the surface finish quality while also decreasing the cycle time. During the creation of these toolpaths, there can be instances where the geometry created for the projection can cause unexpected or undesirable results, creating unnecessary toolpath in certain areas or generating irregular patterns. This is typically a result of the projection range used to project the toolpath onto the target model being machined. By default, this range is set to an automatic distance based on the overall size of the model being processed. The automatic range can cause neighboring geometry to cast a shadow on the area to be machined. In previous versions of PowerMill, the projection range could be changed with a set of typed in commands. PowerMill 2022 improves upon this by revealing the projection range settings on both surface and curve projection toolpath menus. Let's take a look at how this range control can affect a toolpath. If we first look at this automatic range toolpath, we will see that it is very untidy with toolpath calculated in areas that are not needed. Let's now display the surface which is used for the projection. Looking at the projection surface from a side angle and hiding the toolpath from view, note that the toolpath is created by projecting outwards, normal to the projection surface itself. Looking even closer, we can see there is geometry that casts a shadow or overhangs the area to be machined. This results in some toolpath being projected onto the overhang. To resolve this issue, we can limit the projection range so that PowerMill only creates toolpath on the geometry we wish to machine, and no further. Let's look at the settings of the projection toolpath. We now have the ability to enter a projection range value as well as choosing automatic or manual. Activating manual allows for the setting of maximum and minimum distance. Looking here, the minimum has set to negative 5mm and the maximum has been set to 10mm. If we close the form and look at the toolpath, we will see that the manual range has limited the distance of the projection, so that it now only creates toolpath in the desired area. This addition of projection range to surface and curve projection strategies simplifies the process of creating toolpaths to machine complex geometry, especially those parts containing neighboring features, resulting in reduced programming time, improved surface finish, and faster cycle times.